people about your life. Right. Hey, you ain't slow that. Act like you got them skate. Act like you got them skate. C A N E S Kane. Turn over chain. Turn over chain. And we all the way like. Bring it back, Mario. Christy. Turn over. Hey, Cam is the man. Let me bring in Coach. I'm live. All the way live. What's up, Coach? There it is, baby. Chunked out, baby. I'm chunked. I'm done. I'm on that victory. I'm on that victory juice. Turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chunk down. Let's go. V12. Hey, listen. Now let me just say this. Y'all know how 12 is. I can critique myself. And 12 asked a lot of questions in the pregame. How they was gonna show up. And guess what? Hey, guess what, coach? They tricked that in me. They say, uh-huh. Okay. What's up? Shut up. Hey, the cane say V12. Uh-huh. Okay, what's up? Shut up. Hey, boys, <laughs> hey, coach, that's how you come out, coach. On the road. Talk to me, coach. Hey, listen, man. Them boys came out on fire. You know what I mean? They look good. They look polished. You know, against a down Georgia Tech team. I I, I guess I'm just as guilty. Like you asked me pregame. You like, bro, what are they gonna look? I had no idea. And I did not have any idea. And guess what? Them boys came out looking good. They came out looking creative on the offensive side of it. Holson, what's up with you, baby? They came out looking. Uh, they came out looking uh, a little creative in some of the play calling. Um, Jacory kept a couple of plays alive with his feet. He definitely gonna have to learn when to hold them, when to fold them. You know, sometimes he try to do too much, but that's much to be expected from a first time starter. Okay, right. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But I was just saying, this is what I was talking about when putting it on tape. Now you don't have to teach these lessons in August of 23. Okay. You can teach them now. Yeah. Here's the good problem to have now. I want to get you, I want to get you, before we get into the game, I want to get your expertise. expertise. Do we have a quarterback controversy at the U or is it quarterback competition? Oh, that's a big one, coach. Is it quarterback Controversy not because hey, he did his thing today. Corey did his thing today. What how do you see that now, coach, going into the next couple games? I, I believe I hate to say it, but I believe the writing is on the wall for both of those gentlemen. Um which gentlemen for the TV for for TVD and Jake. Jet now, but remember, he still got two more games to play. And what I love about this, we played a down Georgia Tech team. And now you're going to play an up Clemson team. And let's just see if he has the same competitive nature. I'm not asking him to, to, to perform exactly the same. No, it's his second game starting. But as long as he has the same competitive spirit, I think the writing is on the wall for those two gentlemen, unfortunately. Um, and they will probably choose to jump into a, a go where no man has gone before. As they say in Star Trek, and jump into the portal, beam me up, Scotty. Um, he's got a lot of things to work on, but he showed a lot of potential. And the best part is he's young. He's young. So, and you notice your boy didn't. Now, I, some parts of the game I missed a little bit. It went in and out. But I didn't. I, but but Jake didn't get any touches today, if I'm not mistaken, right? No, Let me no check this spot. Yeah, no touches. Hey, I'm hot. I'm hot in a good way. Go Canes, DJ Medi Major for the 199. I'm with you. Hey, I bought it. Listen, turn up. Hey, what hey, what a man that was turn over chain. Where you at? We loose today. Loose my canes, honey. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle that. Hey, listen, that's what I'm talking about. And to your point, coach, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be now. This is what you get paid 80 million for to make the tough decisions. I yeah. don't know if they both gonna go, coach. Somebody gonna stay. 
but it's gonna be a quarterback competition. I think we ride him here on out. We gotta ride him here on out. Ride the young, the young gun from here on out. Jacor, you gotta ride him from here on out. Come spring, off season, and get them likes up. We live, and when we were losing, them likes were up. We winning today. Get them likes up. Hey, tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody that we lose. We done bought the check. Say B twelve bought the turnover change back. Like I, like I'm in Mardi Gras. So listen, it's, it's what I want to say. Hey, but I'm saying you sound a little hollow, dog. Hot, dog. Oh, boy, it sound a little hollow. I'm hot in a good way. Shout out Hayes I'm hot in a good way. I like that, Maddie Major. Listen, one thing Jacory brings, right? Athleticism and mobility in a different way than Jake from State Farm Garcia brings it. Do you agree with that? Say it again. Say it again. He brings mobility in a different way. I think he's a little stronger when he's running the ball than Jake is when he's scrambling and moving through the holes. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Right. Right. Definitely. Yeah. So we were, I think we roll with him. For his my thing. His feet are working. We could work on the arm. He can throw the ball. But like we all always say, coach, it's about rhythm. He got his first mm -hmm. start. Let's see what he can do. And like you pointed out, let me. <laughs> hey. I'm loose today. I'm taking over the show. Listen, let me tell y'all something. I ain't going to give you no, hold on, Cook. I, I've been silent a long time. Shout out to the receiving crew, Corpse, who were blocking today. Bubble screen working. Bubble screen for 15. We're going to call it bubble screen for 15. Right? And Savior out there blocking. The boys out there blocking, cuz. So that's why, that's the difference. When you block, you see the bubble screen go for 10, 12, 13. Go ahead, coach. I'm loose today. I see, boy. You fired up, boy. You on that cane juice, boy? Loose today. I see. Listen, no, man, listen. They played a good game. And, and I, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna tell you the one thing I noticed today. And I'm gonna say this in very short fashion, because it is a celebratory moment. It's all positive. But I think I've come to realize I realize what happens to the Miami Hurricanes. Second half adjustments are null and void. That is something that we have not talked about. I don't know how many people talk about it. We talk about scheme. We talk about this. But think about it. We consistently come out first one, two drive, maybe three drives on fire. They kind of figure out what's going on. Oh, that boy from Ole Miss loose. Anyway, they all listen. And so when it comes to the second half, we have to make sure that we have that what if plan for that. And I'm done with it. That, that, that's I just want to point that out. That's something that just resonated with me today because I was at a sports deal right over here. Dog, they got a screen. They got to be about like Jerry's world, bro. That thing got to be about 60 yards wide. Like I think I got a suntan sitting in there watching that deal. but. Anyway, I, I just want to kind of point that out because it kind of resonated to me, man. Yeah, hey, still, still, T, uh, still, Kane, TC, what you like about the Corey fella? We just said it. We like everything about him right now. He's still young. Hey, we're not gonna crown him. We can't crown him. We can't mm -mm. crown him yet, though. I'm a real. Hey, what he say? We can't crown him. Shut up. We can't crown him yet. But hey, we could talk about him. We can't crown him yet. All right. Hey, uh, D <laughs> DJ. Hey, you, hey, hey, coach, you ranked on the slick, huh? You said it, it's you try to rank on me on the slick. He said it's sound hollow. You try to get at me on the slick, coach. I don't like that. Coach. I like you try to get on my chunk. All right, coach. Hey, got hey but that chunk, hey, that chunk, hey, that chunk, hey, that chunk. Hey, that chunk don't try hey, like twelve, that, twelve. That chunk sound like he came from from USA fleet, not not one eighty third street fleet. That thing yeah, he came hey. out the hey go. Hey, what did the gold roll out the middle of the mall? Hey, hey. Cock a doodle do talk to him about rooster. Shout out rooster. Where y'all at? All the rooster fans. He ain't laying no eggs. Talk to me, coach. Everybody rooster was in a rhythm, man. Let's go. And, and again, right? He played. He played significant time, right? He made things happen when it wasn't there. And Rooster walked out this deal tonight. 16 carries, 118 yards, 7.4 for one touchdown. Um you know, and, and he caught a rhythm. I think he's a rhythm guy. I've been saying that. Um, you know, kind of splitting time. I, I understand it. I totally understand it. But he's a rhythm guy. The more you give it to him, the harder he runs. 
And I'm going to tell you something else that popped off the screen. And I'm going to tell you this. I've said this a many a night. Winning cures everything for at least one night. Dog, you can feel the energy. It was actually some Georgia Tech dudes sitting behind me. I had the man change the big 60-foot screen, the 60-yard screen, to the Miami game. We had to find it on Bally's. And when Georgia Tech scored, they were like, GT. And I turned around and hit them with one of these. What? Uh, they were like, what? Remember, I'm in, remember I'm, in, I'm in New Jersey. I'm in Newark, New Jersey right now. So they weren't expecting that pressure. But anyway, you could feel the energy from the team. You could feel the camaraderie. You All that winning stuff, man, is great. And that's what they have to – this is a teachable moment. Hopefully, and I know he will, Crystal Ball takes this ball of energy and let them know, remember this feeling. Remember what it feels like when you're beating an opponent. Remember what that feels like. Now, you're going to face adversity maybe against some bigger opponents, but fight to get back to this type of energy, if that makes sense. No, I agree. So what is the difference? Could it seem like, and the commentator said it a couple, said it a couple times, we were 3-0 on the road. We have a little bit more success, more success on the road than we have in that home. It's, it's mind boggling. You're supposed to have the home field advantage. What's going on on the road that we're not doing at home? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. All I'm gonna say is whatever I saw today, carry that for the next two games. That's all, and and possibly for a third one being a bowl game. That's now, all I. I, I, I go, that's I all I'm gonna say. Smoking by Josh Gaddis, but let me just say this. Out of all the games we played this season, I think this is part of the most complete game. We would have grayed out the probably the bet the better game we played outside of the ones we played. We played Bethune, at, you know, a power five team. And I'm not saying that we, Georgia Tech is the greatest, but we we've, we've shown to have we, we could lose the teams that that don't play very well. And so to come out here, and even though it was a, it was not a complete domination, to come out here and to get this young man in the rhythm, I would have to give Gaddis a thumbs up today. He put him in a lot of good play call and play situations for Jacoby, for him uh, for him to, to succeed. What do you think, Coach? My bad. I just saw Ole Miss lose in the back of the end zone, dog. Oh, my God, bro. It like it was in his hands, went out of his hands. Hold on one second. Man, F them dudes, man. It's about these chains. F them cats, man. But listen, bro, I'm just saying, man, at the end of the day, you're 100% right, man, that, you know, Ja'Curry has some work to do. It also goes to show you, with a decimated O-line, we still know that O-line is hurting just through injury, and I get it. I totally understand. But when you got a guy that has wheels, he can escape. You understand? He can escape. J-Dub, hey, I followed up on you. Let me know. That stuff should be coming. I got a little bit of straightness, so we should be good. So, J-Dub. Let me know uh, with the next week if your stuff come. And if it doesn't, let me know. Hit me up on the DM because I'm going to straighten in. I appreciate that message you sent. Appreciate you. Hey, listen, no we got a catfish gene 11 for the 499. Don't know. Coach Hayes, what's up with your lights in the Bates Motel? They were in the Holiday Inn. And hey, they said you were in the Holiday Inn. What's going on? It's flicking back there. You got a show going on, Coach? What's going on? The Canes won. You know what's going to happen. All right. <laughs> Cut it out. Hey, the Can hey, the Canes won. Hey, it's hey, a hey, show hey, finna go on. Hey, hey, it's crazy. a it's show like. finna go on. Yeah, I like to see more passing development for Brown. He can be bigger and stronger. Lamar Jackson, OC play calling on short yard is, is too obvious. Yeah, I mean, listen, for the most part, I agree. Coach, coach, we spoke earlier. The offense did kind of go down a little bit. I thought we put the ball in the quarterback's hands too much towards the second half of the game. But again, we were leading. We're trying to run some clock. But he will get better. The other day, we, we didn't think he could throw the ball. First first couple of throws in the, in the other game, he threw the ball in the ground. Now we're seeing easy throws, nice throws. He has a, he has an arm. He can definitely throw that ball. So I think they'll right. get there. They'll definitely get there. No, totally, totally. But again, right, he's young. He's young. Like you said, 12, you just said something that was awesome and brilliant. <laughs> so, Daryl Page said, Coach Hayes in Joe's apartment. No, it's the light flicker because I'm a close. Look, if I back up, it don't flicker. So anyway, I don't know why it's doing it. Maybe it's the shutter speed. But anyway, um, 
you you said some brilliant. Don't crown them. Yeah. Don't crown them just yet. Let them earn it. Yes. Let him earn it. Once he earns it, again, he played a good game, a good game against a bad Georgia Tech. Not a great game, but a good game. Let's let him earn it. Please, fan base. If he earns it, we crown him. I'm cool with that. But let's not crown him immediately. Let's let, let let's start a new trend. Let's let these guys earn it. Let's use the term he's trending up. Let's use that term. Don't crown him right now. In the words of Denny Erickson, we crown their ass. There we go. Yeah. Shout out All to right. the $2 dono, Steel Kane CT. The light is a reflection of how he feels inside. We shout out. LOL 305 for the $50 dono. We appreciate that. Great win for the team. Proud of them, but Gaddis still has to go. Brown has been on the team all year. Should have been, should have had him ready to go. Well, guess what, guys? We would have put him in great, great observation. He's been sitting there, but like we spoke, spoke about in the pregame, this is the time. What does Mario have to lose now? He made a, a brilliant decision. He said, Hey, we're going to go with the third guy instead of the second guy, Garcia. So right now, he looks like a genius. We have two more games to go. Of course, he was sitting on the bench, LOL 305. But come on now, you can't, you're not going to start him over TBD coming off. Performance he no. had last season. It's gonna be tough. But again, sometimes you find out who you have through adversity and through injuries and throughout the season. And now we we can see that we do have a viable third string quarterback who may actually end up being the number one for the rest of the season. What'd you say, Coach. Well, 12, 12. Hey, check this out. Appreciate that fifty dollars, bro. Sure. Check this out, twelve. Since everybody like to use Nick Saban as an example. He didn't put two in until the second half of the national championship. Right? You just got to, you just got to, bro, at the end of the day, like I said, nothing is is uh, 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 written in stone. A lot of it is gut feeling. And, and like I said, how many of us would have said, if you were even the head coach, you're going to put Ja'Curry Brown in front of a TVD being quote-unquote preseason All-American in front of Jake who had not had his opportunity yet. I mean, I thought I think Mario Cristobal handled this well. He did exactly what he's supposed to do. And also with Josh Gaddis sneaking him, not sneaking him in, but putting him in on those fourth and ones that let him kind of feel the pressure of the game earlier. And say, hey, guys, it's your job to lose. And to be honest with you, the way Jake kind of played that last game, I mean, it's tough, it's tough to do. And this is what I'm saying. When you get an opportunity to get a young guy. And he can outplay the older dude. This is the business of the game I'm talking about. Yeah. This is the business that I don't want people to forget about. All right? And as a player, if you're a parent of a player, if you're a player watching this, this is the business. Always handle your business first. And then you can be family later. But hey, I love smi it. Smiley 007K, where you been, Smiley? <laughs> exactly. We're going to ask, Smiley, where you been, Smiley? Are you coming out when the winds? The winds bring bring him out. Hey, Smiley, how, I ain't seen you in a few weeks, Smiley. We ain't seen you. Now we winning now. Don't jump on that bandwagon. Nice to see you, Smiley. Holler at us. Yeah, Coach. I mean, listen, that's a tough decision to make, and no one's going to do it. No one's going to do it. Lucky Luciano, 23 for the $2. Appreciate it. TVD will be the guy if he comes back. That's possible. It's, it's, it's going to be a competition. It's going to be a competition. I don't know. Like I said, we can't crown him. So it's going to be a competition, Coach. I don't think Mario is ready to hand it all the way to him right now. I yeah, I, I, here, here's here's what I feel. I feel strongly that at the end of the season, Coach Crystal Ball will have a conversation with those guys, find out where they are, so therefore he'll know how to attack if if – if they decide to leave, I'm not pushing them out the door, but if they decide to leave, he'll now know he needs to attack the transfer portal due to injury, right? We can't worry about, we can't wait on Jakari Harris and Emory Williams. You're going to have to have some more experience in there at some form or fashion, uh, whether it's a backup guy at another program, just kind of get you through maybe, you know, some soreness or whatever. But I think he'll have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with those two guys 
and then he'll 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 adjust himself accordingly. I guess that's the perfect way to say it. Yeah, Sigmund with the five dollars. We appreciate that. Thank you very much. What can Brown do for you? Good win. He needed a UP. Hey, he needed a UPS NIL right there. I, I what can Brown that. do for you? Hey, but coach, look look at this. The Oracle, Miss Wilcox in the building. Hey, look at what she's saying. TBD will be going to the NFL and get well soon. Talk to that. That's an interesting dynamic. What you think about that? Can he go? He can go, right? If he want to. Yeah, he got three years. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, I mean, I'm gonna tell you my personal opinion. Yeah. It, my, here's my personal opinion, and everybody's entitled to what they want. I think if TVD goes, he goes in as an undrafted free agent. I think he needs another year of solid performance, even if it's at a lower tier program. Not meaning, not not meaning like Group of Five, but even maybe a, a different program. I ain't gonna say lower tier, but at a different program. But he got to put in some body of work because technically speaking, he's got what six or seven games for Miami last year. And this year has just been kind of rough on him. So his body of work is not anything I don't think anybody's willing to pay millions for at this point. Now, they'll be willing to bring him in as an undrafted free agent. And if it works out, great. If it doesn't work out, minimal money has been lost. Right. LOL 305, in the reference you made to uh, Tua for the $10, we appreciate that Tua went on to kill LOL. You're exactly he right. And he, hey, and he also... He think the killer and the cheetah, the Miami Dolphins. We down here, we we wrecking shop in Miami. All right, shout out the Phoenix yes, fans. Where y'all at? We here, Tua. Let's go. I'm a fan, fan boy. What you know about them fan? Hey, what you talking about, Coach? We in the building. So, listen, that sideline, Coach. It, you know what? It made me smile, man. And you know, and you know, everybody on here they say, you know, B12 and coach, we happy. Yeah, we happy. Come on. This is you know, you know why? And I don't want coach to I don't want to get smacked. Because this is how it's supposed to be, guys. We're supposed to go into these. It's how it's supposed to be. These are the games. Th this is the same yeah. thing Middle Tennessee should have looked like. This is the same thing. I hate to say this, even if it wasn't a winning do a competitive look. Yes. So these are the things. Unfortunately, guys, I can't open the phone line. I apologize. But I'll definitely do a show uh, on Tuesday. I had this funeral on Monday, so I can't do it. I'm actually in Newark, New Jersey right now. Uh, but I'll definitely open up the phone lines and get that thing rocking and let y'all definitely voice y'all opinion, man. And, uh, you know, I'll get the good, bad, and ugly going and everything else. But, now, yeah, and, and to Mr. JR, yeah, we, I already said already, let's not crown people early. <clears throat> let's just use the term hashtag trending up. He's trending up, right? And let's not crown him. Let's not crown him just yet. He's got his first start against a bad Georgia Tech team, and he did he did what he was supposed to do. He did what we expected him to do. So yeah. let's work with it from there. Yeah, 1999 Dono from Big Wick Cleaning Coats with the crispy line, LOL. Like you said, this is like a, this is like spring ball, and the kids have to take advantage of the opportunities they get. We got to wait until Harris – has to make throws to win a game before we can crown him. Good observation. We have another dono from Adrian Blackensoon for the 499. Thank you very much. Man, we look good tonight as Brown as the QB. Yeah. This is what you get paid for, guys, ladies and gentlemen. When you're the head coach, you have to make these decisions. Some people would have questioned before the game, why Brown instead of Garcia? But it pays off big, a different skill set, a different mindset, and you heard the commentator said it. The young fellas, the young puppies must grow up, and they played well tonight. They didn't really see a lot of drops. The receivers, you stressed blocking, Coach. From, from, from the O-line to the receivers, they blocked extremely well today. Even Mallory had some good blocks. So, again, what? shout out Mallory. Mallory had, what? A, had, a, couple, Mallory had a couple of them in there. And so, listen. We Hold cannot, on, I'm trying to see him. That's why I'm with this call, trying to see him. We cannot complain too much about today's victory. Can't complain too much. I mean, now, and we, we haven't even talked about why you got them, them hollow chunks on right now, making all that noise. Go ahead. Start it off now. Ain't not hollow about these, baby. 12, I just got one question. Yes, sir. What you had to do to get them beads out of Mardi Gras, though? <laughs> Hey, 
What you had to do to get them big? What you had to do to get them chunks out of Mardi Gras, boy? No if as a maybes. Unless she's a hater. So here we go. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, on the real note, man. Go ahead. I hit that right there. We do. Yeah, CeeLo 79 for 1999. Appreciate that. Jacory has some wheels. I was shocked when he threw when he threw well in the game. Gaddis called a decent game for all you Gaddis haters out there. I said that earlier, CeeLo. Cam has been the most consistent in the secondary by far. JW played off, played off a lot all game. He did. Defense, defense did their thing. We had a couple, you know. It's football. Games. Yeah, it's a couple football. things. Defense. Just defense. The 99, the 99 yard drive, that's inexcusable. But we got, you know, we got to make sure we, we stop stuff like that. You can't have the ball shut down your throat 99 yards. They got in, no big deal. It worked, they work on that. But yes, and, and, and to this point too, twelve. Yes. We gotta capitalize on turnovers when yes. we get them. We gotta get some kind of points out of it. But hold on, shout out to me, five hundred thirty-two people. Shout out to me. You wanna know why? Because I said thirty-one to nine was my score prediction, and it ended up being what thirty-five to what fourteen. Everybody, 21 to 20, 24, 21. Y'all was trying to, y'all was scared. Y'all y'all didn't believe. Y'all hedging y'all bet. You just want to put on the plus side. Just what? So you could say you said the Canes, but you was really thinking the other way. Guess what? Coach went all the way live, 31 to 9. I said 31 to 9, and we got 35, 14. So guess what? I think that's the same point differential if you ask me. Huh? Huh? You locked up, Coach. Hey, what they say? What they say, 12? A broken clock right twice a day. Leave me alone. Let me be broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were close. We give we give we give the credit. You you were close. Listen, that's how it is sometimes. Hey, listen, you saw something that we didn't see, but the difference was the real like listen. Let's talk about these, man. Hey, and the first pick, let me tell you what I liked about Cam, and I ain't gonna lie. I ski coach when he he went to go get them things, didn't he? He didn't, he went to go get them things. Talk about his technique and reading the field and getting to those plays. Let's go. I mean, he's a middle of the field safety. If you look at if you go back to his high school highlight tape that I broke down the WRE of James, uh not James, Cam Kitchens. Bro, that's what he did, middle of the field. Sideline to sideline. Now, guys, hold your horses. Wait a minute. Just listen before you react and don't ball your face up. He did what Sean Taylor used to do in that cover three look. Middle of the field safety getting sideline to sideline. I am nowhere near saying he is Sean Taylor. I'm just talking about the type of game in which he plays and where he does a very good job of playing in the middle of the field, getting sideline to sideline, making plays. That is what is that to me is his strong suit in in his game, because what he lacks in foot speed, he makes up in football IQ, his FBI. So he can play a lot faster than what he really is in foot speed. But shout out to him, man, making plays. Peanut. Put your, matter of fact, Peanut, stick your chin out just a little bit so I can slap that last tooth out your mouth. Hold up. So get your behind up out of there, man. Y'all boy barely won right there with Ole Miss. I ain't, hey, you ain't going to steal my joy. So guess what? I'm good. You got to call Cohey's a winner. Anyway, but uh, no, man, it was great. It was great. I love seeing the energy, man. Like, I could see James Williams smiling through his face mask, dog. Like, you could see the players. And that's what football is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be a miserable deal. It's supposed to be miserable in the summer during mat drills. It's supposed to be miserable in the spring when you got that. Well, they don't do two days, but you know, when coach ripping you up, dog, this is what it's supposed to feel like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, saw, and, and, and Skinner, when Skinner got his first, I mean, he was smiling from commercial break. Hey, he left. Commercial, you left the, the commercial smiling because he was smiling again. That man, they stopped smiling, and that's good, man. You played this whole season, it ain't going well. You get your first six, man. That's a great feeling, you know what I mean? So, and here's the best part about it yes, I saw Khalil Brantley run over to a skinner and dap him up. I seen Will Mallory run over there and pat him up. 
like I'm telling you, winning is contagious, man. And we got to find, I hope, and I know, I'm not going to say hope, I know that Coach Crystal Ball will find a way to harness this energy and keep it balled up and, and divvy it out throughout the week until next Saturday so we can understand what it feels like. Like, I mean, I'm sitting up here at a very down moment in my life. I have to be honest. Like I say, bro, winning cures everything for a night, right? I mean, winning even cures cancer for a night. I, and I say that figuratively speaking, meaning it takes your mind off of the woes of life, right? I'm up here in New Jersey about to bury one of my very best friends, man. And for three hours, I'm in a positive light around people. Everything's good. We cheering. We having fun. Like all of that kind of stuff, man. You know, not tomorrow. Life goes on. I get it. But for tonight, we celebrate. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you, man. Uh, still came CT for the five hours again. Coach, we got to make sure this OSU beat UM in 2002 fantasy squad don't win the league this season. Can't have that. Oh, that that's the fantasy, the fantasy vibe. Yep. Oh yeah, hey, because that's Dom. You know, Dom is the OSU dude. So oh, the Dom okay. from Coach Me Coach. Yeah, okay. Dom from Coach Me Coach is the OSU. I think OSU something beat something. Yeah. Yeah. No, for Hold sure. Hold up. And I saw what hey, and I saw what them boys put out there on me, man. What they the say? boys put, it's a sound check 12. I don't know what that means. Maybe is something wrong. Hey Chanel, can you hear me? Can we good? Producer, we need you. Can everybody hear us? Sound check. One, two, one, I'm sorry two. for the flicking lights, dog, but it's about to be a party in this thing because the Canes brought home a W, baby. Uh huh? Yeah, no, we did, man. Hey, even Mario, Mario had a couple chuckles too. I mean, everybody is, I, saw, I mean, everybody on the road too. And we know how tough it is to win on the road. It's very tough to win on the road. Very tough to win on the road. So, I mean, again, let's get, let's, let's get, let's get, let's get everybody say we're good, coach. Let's All get right. condition. When they down, we talk about them. Let's talk about them. In a positive light. Hey, let, let's pump them up. And this is what it was about. How are you going to come out? We could have easily came out and had an excuse. We spoke about it in the pregame. But we did. Hey, he got a funny thing. Hey, the first we drive, five. we drove down and scored, right? First That's drive, right. right? Drove down and scored. That says a lot. But we've done that before, right? We've done that. And then we sputtered out. And, that, and what I saw, that's why, that's why I say it jumped off the screen on me today, right? It jumped off the screen to me today is that we we have a hard time and I'm not harping on this. I just mentioned it before. Um, we have a hard time with making in-game adjustments, halftime adjustments. And so hopefully they'll take that and learn from it. Um, but yeah, bro, it, it, it is exciting. And big shout out to the fan base. You saw how many green and orange people was out there. They got it. This you flag up. That's what I'm saying, baby. People spend their hard earned money. They hard earned money, 12. Yes. And all they're asking for is a product. That's and it. guess what? And they got it tonight, dog. Yes. They got it. I agree. They got it, man. And it was it, it was well worth it. Yeah. Because I ain't going to lie. That third quarter, I'm like, uh oh. When it got 14 7, I'm like, no, guys, come on, y'all. Right. Come on. And then they just took, like you say, the turnovers, man. Big shout out to those guys. Big shout out to, to uh, Tyreek Stevenson on the great interception, man, on the flea flicker. Yes. Great job. Yeah, every, yeah. Everybody's seen. I mean, the defense, mm, defensive line, sacks. I mean, it's overall. It's what just what you call an overall team victory from start to finish. Not a lot of yeah. penalties. Not a lot of hankies on the field. I think. We can capitalize and build on this. Somebody said in the chat, we're going three and no. I'm hopeful that's the case. If we can have the same intensity that we brought tonight, same discipline, we have a shot. We have a shot, but we can't not go back and focus on Monday. So we, hey, we celebrate right now. Then we go back to we go back to breaking down film and we go go back to getting better. Right? Getting I totally, better. I, I totally agree with that. Yes, I totally agree with that. I mean, let, let, let's look at it. Ja'Curry Brown tonight was 14 of 19, 136 for three touchdowns. Can I tell you something? That's a perfect pitch count for a first-time starting quarterback. Twenty, Basically 20 passes. He hit 14 of them, 
but had three touchdowns out of them. To me, that's that is exact. Remember, I said in the pregame, give him confidence throws, give him easy throws, manipulate it where he can make the throws and is confident. Let him use his feet, feel his way through it. And uh, thank you, uh, Coach Gaddis, and thank you, Coach Cristobal, for listening to the pregame show as y'all built y'all game plan. Y'all holla at your boy. No, nah, I'm just teasing. But that's exactly what you want, man, when it comes to a brand-new quarterback. You can't hit him with the whole playbook. Take out what he likes to do. Make sure it's either a complete or incomplete pass. It's not going to be something that's going across the middle too tough or it could be intercepted and you kill his confidence. Everything is off the perimeter to the sidelines, 45 degrees away from him. And, and, and let him grow out of it. Like I said, there's some times where he kind of panicked and tried to do too much with his feet. But much expected, baby. He a baby, right? He a baby. Most babies, when they first start walking, what the first thing they want to do? Run. What nephew did when he first started stumbling around? He want to take our trying to run. Well, you better learn how to walk first, boy. That's true. So he did his thing. And that's much to be expected, man. So shout out to him. Shout out to the coaching staff for monitoring that properly and not overdoing it. Uh, shout out to the defense, to the fan base that made that trick up there, man. Big shout out to everybody, bro. Yeah. I mean, he, he, I mean, Brown, he's poised. He's poised. And like, like anything else, experience matters. Experience matters. And game time experience matters. And so he's in a game and it got, it, it got, it, hey, listen, it got close at one point. But well, he managed the game. Someone said, I, I don't think we had any turnovers. Someone said in the chat, I don't think we had it. Do we have any turnover? Did we turn the ball over any? The Canes? I don't think we did. Uh, let me check the box. I don't believe. Yeah, I don't believe. Any yeah, success or any fumbles. No, nothing. We didn't even have any lost. There you go. See what I mean? So that's huge based on what we had in the past eight. So that's a victory in of itself. And think about it. Remember I told you before. Most teams can't survive four turnovers, three or four turnovers. And we got four tonight. The young man took one back to the crib on y'all, boy. 99, the second most in school. That's crazy, but I guess, like you said, they only do 100 yards. So, the, But the second most in school history, man. You think about all the great DVs, how many of them have not turned, have not got a pick on the goal line? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you would you know, say tied, a, tied by three by, you know, in the second round or whatever. But that's pretty cool. To go down in the record books for that young man. But yeah. I think this game showed this coaching staff a lot on what our guys are good at, and let's exploit that. Right. Yeah, no, we did it. Whatever, whatever mark, whatever preparation they had coming into this game has to be instilled in and we whatever scheme was installed for this game. You have to revisit that. Although we play a, a different team, playing we play a we play a Clemson team. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot tougher. We gotta play, but gotta guess play. what? That's okay. I, can I be honest? Yes, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay for growing pains through this. I'm okay for that, right? Because again, let's not forget how easily we forget our offensive line is decimated right now, and the boys held their own. Now, it's going to be tough next week against the Tyler Davises and them kind of cats, right? They have to create another game plan that keeps James Williams upright unless he decides to run himself. But if he's throwing the ball, we got to, we got, we got to, got to, got to find a way to keep him upright, whether that's get the ball out of his hands right now, quick slants, bubble screen, like you say, bubble screen for 15, whatever. Shout out to Bashar Smith getting that first down. That's yes. what I say. Put the ball in his hand. Did you see how calm? But watch this. Did you see how calm he was on that first guy making him miss? He just kind of sidestepped him, didn't even panic, walked through the other guy on the cutback. I'm telling you, Bashar Smith can be that difference maker on this team. He's just not there yet. But I'm looking at it. He didn't panic. He just caught that ball and just kind of sidestepped, saw the other dude. Huh? And he had to get that first. Yeah, he didn't panic, man. God, hey, listen, we call him Yaks, you know. Y'all have to catch. He got it. First man miss. And that, that was all that was all individual will at that particular point in time. And that's what we need. More of that. And, and I, I guess there was a challenge instilled to him. Hey, be the best that you can be when you get the body. Make the best of your 
ability. When you get the ball, you produce. And that's what he did. TD Miles with the $5. Appreciate it. First time all year we look faster than the other team. I agree with that. You look really, 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 really fast. And we look fluid. I forget. We look like yeah. the coach said we look smooth. We didn't seem like we would, we were, we didn't know what we were doing. They were talking out there. Multiple canes around the ball. The quarterback seemed poised. There were a couple times where he moved Rooster to the other. Let me say, shout out, to Coach. Let's get it. Shout out to me. No, shout no, out to me. No, 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 no. Shout out to oh. Rooster for blocking. There were a lot of plays. He picked up the blitz. He picked up blitzes and he also protected Brown. So he hold up. Played. Did you see Brown point out the Rooster? Hey, go block him. That's true. Huh? That's what I'm saying. But Brown say Brown say Rooster pointed him out. Told him Brewster, go block him. Yes. Yeah. Come on. 79, 199. Clemson QB is an impressive to me. Apply pressure. I agree with that. Awesome. Awesome observation, CeeLo. But hey, but coach, you're right. That's what it's about. Recognizing where it's coming from. Now, and I said that he moved him a couple times in different areas to kind of say, hey, I need you here. Right. And he told the receivers come in. He flipped, I mean, that's that's what you need. That's the maturity. And your young quarterback, and let's just see how he progresses. Let's see how he progresses. So let me ask you this: They bring up Arnez Cooper, number seventy-three, the offensive guard. Listen, a young freshman, bro. He needed this like a hole in the head. He needed this game time experience, bro. He needed this because he, he gonna be thrust into the fire soon. You know what I mean? So he needed this, man. Like I'm, I'm happy these guys had opportunity, man, to make it happen. Yeah, Shad 1419 for the 499. This was a good game. I'm happy we displayed a little bit of how we're supposed to handle a team when you're more talented. I couldn't agree with that that quote more because we've lost to less talent. I mean, we've lost and got blown out by less talented teams. And tonight, I think I would argue that this was one of the most complete games. Although it wasn't a whole bunch of fan for a whole bunch of lighting it up. I think I would take the I'll take the incremental steps, no turnovers, less penalties, turnover change for us, right? People moving. I'll take that any day than to throw up 40 points, still lose, and have 500 yards of offense. I'm a realist. And you know, so what you what you think about that, coach? I agree with you. I mean, it's hard to say, dog. Look, we threw a 500. We threw a 500 yards passing, dog, and lost the game. You're right, bro. Yeah, definitely. And let me give everybody they love. We thank everybody for tuning in. Hey, listen, get the likes up. We got 550 in the chat. Hey, Coach, you want to do Alex Tabio? And I'm going to give everybody they love. Yeah, i do it right now. Listen up, man. Big shout out. We got 556 people in the building. Man, Alex Tabio, the guy right here. He's been sponsoring this show for over a year and a half, man. Good friend of mine. Anything you have to do with home financing, make sure you hit him up. He's got a special program out there, especially for these Kane fans. 100% financing. Listen to what I said. 100% fi Hold on. 100% financing for FHA loans. All you need is closing costs and a 640 credit score. Come on, dog. Talk to your boy. Talk to your boy. 640, 100%. Guess what? If you don't believe me, call him. 305-205-1697 is free. It's a free phone call. Pick up the phone, holler at him. He said he also working on some credit repair, too. So some of y'all credit look like he got four flats. Go ahead and put some air in that thing, man. Go holler at him and see what he got going. But go ahead, check him out. All the information is in the description as well. As soon as I start talking about that, but we lost 20 people in the chat. Guess what? They must already, hey, they must already got a crib. Okay. Oh, we all thank you guys for your donos. We we'll show you love right now. Oh yeah. Hey, listen. Hey, Alex got us, man. If you need something, hold up. So, hey, hold on. What crayon writer say? A six forty in this lifetime. Bro, if you ain't got a 640 credit score in this lifetime, you better stop going to the Gucci store, buying up all that stuff, boy, and pay your bills. 640, easy work. Come on, man. Y'all stop it. Y'all cut it out. d low 5-3 for the $2. Dri driving out the game. RN. Um, right now. 
right now. Okay, yeah, see, so yeah, that's new stuff right now. Fans showed up. Hey, listen, we saw the fans in the stands. We saw them in the stands. A lot of Kane's jerseys, a lot of Kane's hoodies. So we saw them, man. D Lo, hope you had a, it. was a great showing, great game to be a part of. For sure. Hey, you know when I put my hand up, the light stopped blinking. Watch this. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Maybe maybe my eyes caught like this because I'm on that cage. Yeah, you like you're in the base motel, Coach. What's going on? No, nah, man. I just got the lights down low. Coach doing it right. Yeah. It man. just look hey, it just looked like this, but it's right though. Yeah, so I guess we look forward to a good week of practice. And then at what point do you turn your attention, Coach? Because I know it's a long, it's not a really long ride back or flight back. At what point? From a coaching perspective, can you inform us that you turn your attention to the next opponent, a Clemson team who is, is ranked? And and we and we happy tonight if we can get that dub at home, right? We at home with that game. Uh, Clemson is away, I believe. Is away? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Clemson is away. Pitt is at home. Pitt is at home. So we on the road again. Correct. Right. On the road again. So. We go 3-0, and go to Clemson. When do you start the game plan and prepare this team for a Clemson team that's ranked? And although they're not playing great football, they're playing on a, at a high level. So for the players, they're going to go party tonight, right? They gonna, they'll probably be back no later than 10 o'clock, 10.30. Coach! Don't, you know, Guess what I thought? Guess what I should just, just remember? You said they're gonna party that. Guess where they at? They in the ATL. No, nah, they already gonna no, nah, they're gonna be gone. They on the plane already. Oh, they'll okay, be on the plane. Second, you know, it's a lot of party. Nah, they'll be, nah, now. they'll be on the now. Nah, them boys be on the plane in an hour. Okay. And, you know, hey, them boys, I heard they got, they got them good chicken wings in one of them spots down there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one dude left a bubble to go get them. They was that good. But anyway, I heard they got them great chicken wings down at ATL, Saudi. Y'all how that is not. You know about them chicken wings at ATL, hey, and it made. Hey, hey, in the words of Ray Ross, the boy said, "And they got thighs." Hey, hey, listen, and it was COVID in the height of COVID, and Buddy left the bubble for some chicken wings. <laughs> right, you in the height of COVID, they put hey, you in the bubble. Buddy went, he ATL. Yeah, he say, "I'm a holler at you. I'm going to get them chicken wings." Cause yeah. So so long story short, I'm gonna be very honest. Uh, coaches actually on the flight back, coaches will be breaking this game down right now. Like GAs, student assistants, they'll be putting the data in and everything for the game. Because you gotta remember, these coaches will be in the office at six thirty in the morning. So it's short lived, bro, for the coaches. You know. So right now, GAs, the 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 uh, computer tech guys. They already working the, their workflow, getting the game uploaded, putting it in, break it up, and all that good stuff and so forth. Hold on, somebody knocking on the door, boy. Uh oh. Anyway, if, if they ain't got no key, boy, it's gonna be a long night. Hold on, hold on. Let me get some straightening. Yeah. Oh, somebody said, yep, thank you. Thank oh, you, Hayes. My, my bad. Chuck Mobile. Not, it's not on it's not on me, Chuck. I, I, I apologize, Chuck. Thank you, Hayes and I appreciate what? that. I'm trying to do a whole up, baby? trying to do a whole bunch of things. Nah, you find my homeboy, Chuck. Baby. Chuck, I got you, baby. Hold tight. You're lying too right now. Right. Chuck Mobile. Chuck Mobile. Thank you, Hayes and Ellie. Yeah. We live right now, man. Check my dog, you got to get on camera, dog. It's good. My dog, Mush, boy, that ain't you family, cuz. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, what's up, Howard? Howard, what's up, how are you? Man, hey, okay. you, you, hey, hold up. Howard. Check your face. You went to Howard, right? Check your face. Ain't no Howard. Oh, my bad. You know what, disrespect. You know he disrespect. He went to Tennessee State. He don't know no better, Mush. Oh. He what's don't up, know no brother? better. How you doing? Good man, yeah, man. So, we talking about our canes, you know, we do our canes. So, uh, yeah, bro, yeah, have hey, a seat, man. We got Chug Chug all right for the 35 14. We appreciate it, Chug. Coach, my condolences and prayers are with you. I appreciate yeah. it, man. Like I say, these shows for Reek, man. Yeah, big shout out to Al Tariq, dog. Yes, sir. Al Tariq, right? Yo, son, That's my boy. I'm in New York, I'm in Newark, son. The brick, son. <laughs> hey, like hey, yo, hey, yo, Kyle, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, let me like tell you something, dog. 
I'd like hey, to let me tell you. Around, he would get hey, better. real quick, real yeah, quick. I'm ahead. sorry about the donut. We're talking about my dog. Hold on, one second on the dog. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I apologize. No, no, you're fine. I get to school, dog. I got a Perry Ellis windbreaker. <laughs> you you know what it's hell yeah, <laughs> bruh. I remember windbreaker. I had a know. windbreaker. These cats, it's like listen, these the New Jersey. Jersey. These ju- these the New Jersey dudes. I did not know what a goose down was. I thought I was a <laughs> pillow dog. So I go in there, boy. The, the Hulk come round. Got so I, we go into the cab. <laughs> that boy Reek say, "Yo, son, <laughs> God, where you going with that damn jacket, <laughs> bro? I had a, a Perry Ellis windbreaker on, dog. <laughs> these boys got the big biggie yellow bubble coats on, and I'm laughing at these cats, man. But shout out, man, to Al Tariq, right, man. Much love to the big homie, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, go ahead, twelve. Talk to me, man. Hey, man don't, don't, hey, listen, coach. That, those those are what we have left, man. Like they say, yes, sir. When you, when you transition on, bro." You got these memories and you got the smiles and you got the fun times and you got the photos so, no. and you got these experiences and exposure, man. So again, like from, from the whole Kane family, man, we sorry for you and, and, and your brother's loss. You know, I mean, it's I know how it is, you know, when you're out of town, when you're from out of town and you go to another a strange place, you you know, from the career, you go to Virginia, go to Hampton, bro. Yeah, you know, right. Some good guys, some good ladies who take care of you, man, and they, they become your family. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? They become your family. Yeah, you know? yeah. Hey, so that's, that's where we at, bro. Listen, I'm sure he's looking down on y'all, man, smiling. He laughing. He ain't smiling. That dude laughing right now, cuz. Yeah. He ain't laughing much? Yeah, that man. boy laughing. That boy like, look at this fool, man. Yeah. So let me get Chug Mo in. We're going to continue. Chug, hold on. Hold up. Chug Mo Beer? I'm sorry. When, when people in Chug Mo Beer donates, we must chug. So cheers to Chug Mo Beer. Hold on. All right, Chug. Talk to me, Twill. All right, Chug. Boy, chugging on a bit. What is it, a sippy cup, dog? <laughs> hey, boy, hey, hey, coach, you on me today? But I'm, hey, but I'm, I'm gonna give you. You see, you see, hey, hey, they say hurt people, hurt people. So I ain't go, I ain't gonna go at you, man. They say hurt people, hurt people. I know you, I know you grieving right now. So I ain't gonna, I'm gonna take them, right? Cause I'm, I'm with you. You my buddy. I'm, I'm with you, but I'm. Hey, you know I love you, man. Hey, hey, I know you do. Hey, but hey, hey, but next, next week, I got something for you, cause. All right, don't I love here. it. Talk now, to now, me. Now, I know how it is. Talk about beer again, coach. My condolences and prayers are with you. Great win. I like what I saw from Brown. He would get better every game. Has a lot of potential. Players play hard today. Let's go, Canes. Canes for life. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Hayes Nellon, for uh, uh, letting me know about that. I missed that one. Appreciate it. Chuck more beer. You know, you long time Canes fan, long time subscriber. We appreciate it, man. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, man. So listen, we got five hundred. I know y'all. Probably we got, got five hundred in the chat, baby. Listen, I'm about to get off of here. We said we're gonna do an hour. We got about seven minutes left, literally. Uh, Oregon up here look like they're getting worked over by the Huskies, like they got a duck in their mouth. But uh, man, like I said, I love the college football. It's seven nothing for the Huskies over there, man. But uh, great win for the Hurricanes. They needed this like they needed a hole in the head, you know. Um, and a good way to see it with a young quarterback, bro. Good way to see it with a young guy coming in where there were a lot of questions about And still a lot of questions. I'm going to continue to say this. Let's not crown him early. Let him earn it, bro. Let, 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 look, hashtag trending up. Let's not, not hashtag crowned him. You know, I've already heard people saying he's the future of the program. Bro, he's played one game. He's literally played one game, guys. And I appreciate your enthusiasm. But I want to be the guy that helps change this narrative where we crown guys so early, and as soon as they make a mistake, we want to be headed. You understand? As soon as they – now, it's going to happen. He's going to throw an interception. And when he does, because he's going to do it, it is football. He sucks. He's the worst ever. He, he would, I wish he would transfer. No. Let him earn his stripes. You don't come in, dog, because you're the colonel's son being the colonel. You got to earn your stripes, dog. Earn them. Let him earn them. And that's all I'm saying. Let's give him time. Don't put that unwarranted pressure on the young man. Give him time. Praise him when he do it, does well. Constructively criticize him when he does wrong. Constructively criticize him when he does wrong. And let him grow. Let's start a new trend here, dog. Let's start a new trend. Hey, Talk Armando, to 
Armando Averwell for the full Alvarez for the $49.99. Let's go. Trust the process, fellas. Hey, guess what? That Armando, ain't hot right there, now. Armando, okay, guess what? A, that ain't hot. This win, this helps the process, and it helps the trust, too. Hey, before we leave, y'all, I want Coach to end with his bag tax story that he just found out about the bag tax up the road. Talk to him, Coach. Tell him your bag tax Oh, story. check this out, man. Go. Bro, hey, I can't live up north, cuz. They tried. They, hey, Mush, they tried your boy, Mush. Bro. Wait a minute, man. So check this out, dog. I'm from, I'm from the crib. I'm from the crib. Y'all listen up. For y'all ain't from up north. And maybe where else they do this, but Coach didn't know this. I go to get the ingredients for my cane juice. I purchased the ingredients for my cane juice. I have these ingredients for my cane juice. Mind you, I am walking because the store is down the street. I'm walking. So I, I purchase it, pay for it, receive my receipt. And I'm standing there looking at the lady. The lady's standing there looking at me. I'm standing there looking at the lady. And I'm waiting for her to put it in a bag. Yo, in the words of my daughter, yo, son, what you thought this was? Daughter's the north, son. Bro, they had, the lady said, there's a bag tax. You don't get a bag here. I'm like, what? I said, uh, mush. They want me to walk down the street with your bottle, bro. With, with all my cane you juice ingredients. Bro, they told me this was Brick City, but I didn't know it was Crook City. Hey, hey, hey. They get it how we get it, son. Bro, they tried to charge me for a bag. So guess what Coach did? Put it all in my pocket. And I had my receipt stuck to my forehead. So the police stopped me. It's all paid for. Y'all stop playing with me. Bro, I would never... I can't live here, bro. You gotta pay for duck sauce and soy sauce separately. What you think? <laughs> hey, everybody laughing. Hey, y'all. That's why. That's why exposure was good. I told Coach. I said, Coach. He was like twelve. Have you ever heard of that? I said twelve. They do. I said, Coach. I said, Coach. They do. That, they do that here. It's five cent bag tag. What you? I never heard. See me, I max. Look, know. I max said charge you for a bag. The five cent the in the DMV. Five cent per. Listen, let me tell you. You go to Walmart here in the Sorry. DMV, and you go to the shelf checkout, and they say, how many bags do you have? You put that joint in, and they calculate your bag, five cent per bag, coach. Bro, what are we talking about, dog? <laughs> hey, they, hey, listen, for all you guys, environmental friendly, they want you to save the environment. So like I was telling the coach, either you do it like Aldi, bring your own bag, or you do it like Costco or Sam's Club or, or BJ's and put your stuff in a box and get up out of there. You, you go, bro, you this is ridiculous, bro. And here's the funny thing: Can I tell y'all something already? They've already added tenth of a tenth of a penny to every item in the store to pay for those bags. So don't get it twisted, yo, son. Don't get it twisted, son. No, this is the bricks, dog. And guess what? I'm gonna be kicking them right back to the airport, saying I ain't never paying another bag tax, dog. Bro, I'm standing here with my ingredients. My to my cane know. juice 12. Bring your bags. Bring your bags with you, man. Bring your bags with you. I'm a traveler, son. I'm a traveler. I never experienced this in my life. I'm 45, now bro. Now we know, Coach. That's why That's why exposure is great. Now you know. You got a story to tell. Right? As long as they ain't charge you $25. Hey, all he good. back there, bro. Mush back here dying. Like I never experienced this. I'm like, bro, 10 cents a bag. Dog, that was two blow pops back in the day. Bro, 10 cents a bag was two yeah. big blows, dog. 10 cents a bag got you two nine layers. Am I lying? 10 cents a bag was a third of a quarter water. There we go. Man, it's all good, man. But look. Hold on. Like, Mush, did he have to go, if you go to the grocery store, you have to pay for every bag, dog? Come on, dog. It's too much. It's too much. I'm going back south. I'm bag, going Cole. south of the Mason Dixon line, dog. It's too much. <laughs> I'm out of here. All right. It's all right, Cole. But look, man, we about to get up out of here. We thank everybody for tuning in. Catch us again next week for the pregame show. Big game. And it's our Super Bowl right here. Clemson. We're gonna see what what we're gonna see what our devil got for us. 
we'll go from there. Yeah, so do me a favor, guys. Like, I'm going to keep reiterating this as much as I can. As you go into these other shows and these other channels, let's not crown the young man. He played one game, and he did well. He didn't do great. He did well. He did well. Let him live. Let him get as a, I'm a dog. Let him live, son. Yo, can I live without y'all saying that I floss too much? Let him live, son. Give him an opportunity to. The Jersey impression is horrible. It's horrible. He said my Jersey impression is horrible, son. Hey, listen, as you roll out, man, listen, coach, go chill out a little bit. Long day. Hey, Jarrell Marby for the 199. He said, Gaddis called a decent game. On that note, I can't agree with you more. On that note, hey, hey, I'll be safe, man. Much love. And we'll catch y'all on the other end. I Appreciate y'all, man. Sell. Y'all want these chunks to turn over the chunks? Chunk hollow, cuz. Don't say hollow. He's 12 is out. Holler at y'all, man.